Hey guys and welcome back! Are you looking for the perfect fonts for creating your own DIY wedding signage or starting your own signage business? Well in today's video I'm going to show you how I created this wedding signage set using fonts and SVGs from one of my favorite sites Creative Fabrica, plus a few tips and tricks along the way for creating your own wedding signage. I'll take you through my design process, how I download fonts and use those on my Cricut Maker, cutting larger than matte projects, and how to apply the vinyl to wood signs. Make sure to stay till the of the video where I share some of my all-time favorite fonts for wedding signage. So I own my own signage business here in Colorado and if you have followed me for a while you already know I love Creative Fabrica. Their fonts are featured in almost every single tutorial of mine. And a font subscription is vital for my business because I work with so many different styles of couples and weddings that I need unlimited access to a large library and on top of that, I need everything to come with a commercial license. So instead of spending time cherry picking fonts from different sites, I have unlimited access to over 4 million fonts, graphics, and SVGs from Creative Fabrica with my monthly subscription. So the typical monthly subscription is $29, but they're actually running a special right now to try it for only a dollar for your first month and then with a discounted renewal rate of only $19. So if you have been on the fence about joining Creative Fabrica in the past, now is the perfect time to try it out. You can even cancel it anytime, even after your first month. So only a dollar right now to get access to over 4 million designs. Although I use my monthly subscription for wedding fonts and graphics, it is also great for any crafting projects like making stickers, car decals, kids shirts, and other DIYs. Creative Fabrica actually made a link for me to share with you guys for the discount, so I will include that in the video description along with all of the supplies used today. So once you have your monthly subscription, then you have access to download all of these fonts. The fonts that I use for this set is Hand Letters and Paradiso. I will link those along with the links to the SVGs used on the signage set down in the video description. And once you have your monthly subscription, you can go ahead and download the fonts that are here on Creative Fabrica. For the signage set, I'm using a mix of two fonts and a few graphics for the Moscow Mule image and also the mountains. Once I have my fonts and SVGs downloaded from Creative Fabrica, I can head over to Cricut Design Space. And what I do to help design these in Cricut Design Space is I always enter in a placeholder. So this is typically just a box, and then I make that the same size as my wood piece. So once I enter in the text and the lettering, I'm going to know exactly how that is going to look once I cut it and apply my decals. So I enter in the names, change it to the font that I want, and continue working on with the rest of my design. This is the typical layout for the welcome signs that I do. Um, this is a vertical sign and it will say welcome to the wedding of name and name, then with the date and sometimes a location underneath it. And just a little tip, if you save this as a template, then you can easily come back to this over and over, literally just filling out the names and adding in the custom details like the dates and location. So now back over to my full design that I have created already. This is the demo that I send to the client. You can see I have a few of the SVGs that I had uploaded to Cricut Design Space and using that hand letters and Paradiso font to design the rest. And once I'm ready to make my cuts, I go ahead and delete out the placeholder since that is not needed to cut the vinyl and break up my signs to where it makes sense um, for the larger than mat because I can only cut a 23 and a half by 11. What I'm going to need to do is split some of these up like the welcome sign, the bar sign, and the seating chart sign. Now that I'm ready to cut my vinyl, there are a few little tools that I like using. One of them is that pink soft scraper that I just showed. I get the question all the time, where do I get this? It's actually a freebie and one of the transfer tapes that I use. So I will make sure to link that below in case you want to use the exact same one. I use that and also my Cricut knife just to help apply the vinyl to my mats before cutting. And I usually have large projects like this where I am having to use like five to 10 mats at a time. So I do go ahead and prep all of those with the vinyl before I start cutting. That way, once it starts cutting, I can just unload the first mat, put the second one in, and just keep the cutting going pretty much nonstop. Now 
Now that all my vinyl is cut, I have to weed it myself. And just because I'm working with a lot of different signs on these masks, like they're kind of all mixed together, I do like slicing in between each. Now this is just with the light pressure. I'm not cutting all the way through the backing of the vinyl. I'm just kind of cutting in between each sign and sometimes in between the smaller details just so it's easier for me to work with on weeding. Now that everything is weeded, I go ahead and add my transfer tape to each and then flip the mat over to release the backing off of that. So the wood pieces I made myself for this project, basically they're just wood blanks that I had to cut to size, sand, and stain myself. I also finished most of these um, just so they have a polyacrylic finish on the top before I apply my decals. Now if you are looking to make your own wood pieces and your own cuts, basically to where you can make any size that you need and for super cheap, check out my tutorial where I will actually take you to the store with me to buy the wood show you how to cut it, sand and stain, and even finish it. I will make sure to link that tutorial right here in the top right section of this video and also in the video description. So it's super easy to apply decals to wood signs. It's basically like pinning a sticker on. Um, I do use my soft scraper just to really make sure that it is adhered before I pull my transfer tape up. And the smaller signs are easier to eyeball, but when you work your way up to the larger ones, you do want to make sure that each decal is centered and aligned properly. So I use the hinging method to just make sure that I am properly applying these decals in the correct positions. Thank you so much for being here today and supporting my channel. Let me know if you like the video by hitting the like button and any questions that you have down in the comments section below. See you again soon.